Good morning, my beautiful benevolent warrior brothers and herons, sisters of love and light. As you can see in the upper right hand corner, we have 4.57 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can also see it on the, on the middle left right there, uh, saying the same time. We'll let that switch over to 4.58. So you can see that this is real time and not just a screensaver. And as soon as it does, we could go ahead and get started with the actual update. And I just want to quickly want to show you guys what my current weight is. At 5 a.m., we will still have uh, seven hours left until my actual deadline to weigh under 145, 145 pounds. So any second now, there it goes, 158 a.m. Now you know that this is not just a screensaver. Okay, it's real time moving around. And uh, hopefully you can see on the bottom, yeah, you can see right there on the on the left hand side. Uh, even though it shows the time, it shows Tuesday, September the 1st, okay? That's the date we have today. So, first things first, let's get the scale set up. And we're going to go ahead and give you my weight first. And right now currently is 147.4. We're gonna go ahead and let that zero out. And if there's a C after the zeros, that means we cannot trust the current calibration and we need to recalibrate the scale. But after the zeros, there is no C. So we'll go ahead and get a confirmation. But I am wearing this very wet jacket and sweater and it's still 147.4. So now let me go ahead and take this off, okay, because this is wet. I just got done working out uh, just a few minutes ago. This is just a brief update because the 24 hour mark is not until noon, which will be in seven hours, because it's about to be 5 a.m. Noon will be in seven hours from now. So let me dry up a little bit from the little bit of sweat. now. Just to be technical, there's probably about 0 0.2, 0 0.4 at the most ounces of weight from sweat and my hair, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Not right now, okay, this is just a generalization. I'm not truly preparing for a fight or anything like that, but I wanna show you guys how much weight I can cut, not just me, anybody can do this if you do it properly in a matter of 24 hours. Already, I'm already at my goal. 144.4 again we'll let this zero out if there is no c after the zeros that means we can not trust the current calibration but if there is no c which there isn't now let's see if we get a confirmation of 144.4 and sure enough 144.4 is still my current weight right now now imagine that, I'm about to do a coffee enema in a few minutes, okay? I'm not going to sleep from now until 12 p.m. I might nap for two hours, maybe, if there is time. But I got a lot to do after this coffee enema. I still have to supplement a little bit so that I don't pass out, okay? But obviously, I need to supplement in a smart way so that I don't accumulate weight, okay? But I want to supplement so I don't... Uh, 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 dehydrate myself in the form of electrolytes because you do want to dehydrate yourself in the form of water weight but that means you shouldn't dehydrate yourself to what is going to affect your brain and your blood cells which is alkalinity if you do if you uh, deplete yourself of too much water okay or if you drink too much water too fast you can flush out your electrolytes which is the equivalent of depleting them obviously when you're trying trying to cut weight and that could be a very 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 dangerous thing whether you're a man or woman young or old uh it, it, you can die from that uh from from over hydrating from flushing out electrolytes or dehydrating too much for one lack of water lack of hydration obviously lack of iodine meaning salts why don't you guys deplete the salts as well because if you don't then you retain water weight with that salt but there's certain ways to do it to still be able to supplement that iodine that is very needed for the nerves and nerve function okay but not 
uh, accumulate weight from the water or from the extra salt that's going to hold water weight. Okay, so anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and show you what my results are right now, okay, with, the, with my current weight. So this is what I look like, non-flexing. All right, now here's my abs, flexing. Here's my obliques, flexing. Here's my opposite side, obliques, flexing. Here's my lats, flexing. Here's my lats from the back, flexing. Here's my lower back, flexing as best as possible. All right, here's my biceps from the front, flexing. Biceps from the front, flexing this way. Uh, biceps from the back, this way. Tricep. Now, I'm not going to lie to you right now, I'm almost cramping up from the dehydration. It's not only from the dehydration, it's from the lack of potassium. Because that's the second main thing that we flush out. And that's another thing, I'm taking plenty of potassium and that's what I will supplement plenty of. Because I have a way to do it without intaking weight, but still supplement healthy potassium amounts. Um, so that I don't mess up my nerve function because potassium helps with that. Potassium is what helps with uh, having your body more alkalized. Okay, so uh, where were we? So now shoulders, deltoids, deltoids from the back. Uh, traps, traps from the side, traps from the back. Traps on the opposite side, chest, chest, um, and that's it. Neck muscles are also growing, they're getting defined. Forearms are growing, getting defined. Glutes, hamstrings, quads, uh, uh, calves, things like that, getting also defined. Um, and that's about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one more coffee enema. Make sure I supplement potassium. Uh, uh, um, uh, alkalinity, uh, get more uh, 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 electrolytes in me, and then still balance the the, the gut with acid. Uh, not battery acid, obviously, but our stomach is supposed to be acidic. So the way I would do that is with just a tiny little bit. It's not even an ounce and a half or two at the most of actual context of liquid context of equal parts of uh, uh, apple cider vinegar and raw honey. So I'm going to take three tables, no, three uh, 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 teaspoons, equal parts, mix it up to where it's one consistency, and then I'm going to take that shot um, after the coffee enema. And then after that, after the coffee enema, I'm going to soak, okay, for nearly an hour and a half or two, and I'm going to close everything off, seal the bottom, Put a little, uh, I used to have a heater here, but it, it burned out, so I had to restock it and, and cover it up. Uh, you would have been able to see it, but you can't see it, it's covered up now. But there was one of those old school heaters here. But I'm gonna bring a little space heater. I right, turn it on and close this off, seal it off, so it becomes like a sauna in here. And then I'm gonna go in there with very hot water. Obviously, I'm not gonna burn myself, but it's gonna be pretty hot. And I'm just gonna relax and let my, bo my body relax, my spirit, my mind, everything. And while I'm in there, it's hot. While the space heaters out here is hot, it's sauna-like. Even though I'm in water and may not feel like I'm sweating, I'm going to be depleting even more water weight, even more toxins. And I'm going to be conditioning my skin, the biggest organ of the body, and many other things by adding pink Himalayan salt, plenty of it. Notice how I'm going to use iodine that way, not internally, but externally. And it still gets inside, but it won't hold water weight. It won't. This is the, the smart way of doing it, of alcohol to become, basically do alchemy, okay, internal alchemy. So I'm gonna use pink Himalayan salt, and this time I'm only gonna use uh, uh, eucalyptus drops, a few drops, okay? I put a few drops, then I smell it, and then I just rub the edge, just barely rub it, just not like rub it hard, just barely rub it on my hair, <laughs> on my uh, uh, mustache, so that that smell of eucalyptus can stay there and I can keep breathing it in. 
and relaxing me more and helping me detoxify in different ways okay and you'll see i guarantee you i'm gonna weigh about 142 by the time i'm done i'll weigh myself one more time see if it weigh any different uh i was weighing 144.4 right it's still 144.4 sometimes i weigh a little bit tiny uh, uh uh a little bit tiny less most of the times and very few times i weigh like a little tiny more but usually it's less just from talking and breathing and i haven't been breathing that deep right now because i am exhausted out of my brain i haven't slept much but it's it's intentional i'm not gonna sleep much until my last uh um uh update by noon today and then that way uh, i can deplete as much possible okay and then uh, well, that's one of the reasons why you see a lot of the fighters that are always weak right after they do their weigh-in is because sometimes they don't even sleep because it helps to cut weight okay so anyhow you got my plan i'm gonna go ahead and execute that plan now so please tune in seven hours from now or 12 noon or anytime shortly thereafter uh, 12 noon today on September 1st Pacific Standard Time to get my final update and then I'm gonna rest like a baby without worrying about alarm clock or anything that after that and then uh, do one more workout and then I'll do an update okay of what I look like what I feel like things like that how what I like didn't like things like that and if anybody puts any questions obviously i'm going to address those and that's that all right don't forget my name is jesus nadia medina and i'm the creator of the one two three four flush which will help you to transform in at least four planes of existences from the inside out in the mental physical spiritual and emotional eventually we'll get to the metaphysical but for now we got this transformation and i'm utilizing the one two three four flush like i already said and also kinetic overload method that's a holistic approach to fitness and when it comes to the self-defense part it's still called the same thing ko method which is knockout method all right ko method for the holistic approach to fitness is kinetic overload method if you see my videos i'm constantly moving 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 and i mean for over 30 minutes hardly no break just moving moving hardcore kinetic overload so once again my name is jesus nadia medina the creator of the one two three four flush aka striker when it comes to the fight game and you will see like i said on my videos i strike a lot all right gotta get going one love one life but together a light will shine much brighter peace